Hey guys, what's up? Hi, I'm Jenny, aka Jenna from Marie Vale, and this is Jenny's Lair Chapter 14. Today is May 23rd, 2010. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, my pen, as usual. Alright, my baby Peter pen. I love this one so much. I wish I could, like, have a plushie of it. A baby Peter pen. Because I love Peter pen. Okay. Um, yeah, I know I told you guys last week that my older sister Sarah was going to guest star. And she's here, right now, outside my bedroom. But, well, she's not right here at my house right now. She has been so busy lately, like, just meeting all the friends. She has a meeting with a friend, like, every other minute. So, she didn't really have time. Plus, this is not really working for her. She didn't really want to sing. She just wanted to lay back, you know, chill. Cause she's been working 16-hour days in New York City, trying to make the rent and get a good part. She, we were set her for, so sorry if you were looking forward to her. Sorry. Um, but Sarah, if you're watching this later, thanks for the offer, and we love you to bits. And you're going to hear my older sister's name, Sarah Ann Vale, later on somewhere or other. So keep an eye out for her. Okay. News. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. This Tuesday, I have a special extravaganza going on. It's not really an extravaganza, but something special is going on. But you'll have to wait and see. So on Tuesday, I'm going to film it and upload it when I can. So, yay, Tuesday. Special video. Um, also... I had something. I know I did. Okay. That's weird. It'll come to me later. Eventually. Okay. So, shout out. My shout out was to Sarah. Sarah rocks. Love. Okay. Um, yes. News. That's. I already did that. <laughs> Books I'm reading. Do you already have to write a damn good novel? Will I ever finish it? Possibly not. And I told you guys last week that I was sort of kind of rereading parts of Artemis Fowl the Sixth. Well, I thought it was such good inspiration for Drake, because he's a lot like Artemis. I got the rest of the series. I own the second, this is mine, but the rest are from the library. I love these books. Plus, I also told you that the seventh comes out on July 20th, the Atlantis Complex, so if you want to go on to owenculture.com, I have a link. You can read the first chapter of the Atlantis Complex. There's actually also a contest about it. If you can make, like, a comic book version of the first chapter, then you will win worldwide fame. So, artists, draw. And if it's anything like the actual Artemis Fowl graphic novel, we will kill you, because that thing kind of sucked. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. Writing progress. I sort of kind of got over that writer's block thing that I had last week, but not really. Luckily, I have a special meeting with a special someone, which I'm not going to tell anyone, because that's personal private life, tomorrow, so hopefully that'll clear things up. And I talked to Anya, my friend Anya, you rock, in Ireland. She's always a help, so Anya rocks. Um, speaking of which, Anya and her friend in Ireland are considering to start their own web show, if you want them to start a web show, comment and I'll tell them how many people want them to start a web show. It'd be cool if it was like called something like Broadcasting from Ireland or something like that. Because who doesn't want to listen to Irish people, right? The accents and everything. It's pretty awesome. Okay, what else? Where am I now? Where am I now last week was Venice, Italy. Ooh, yay. I've always wanted to go to Italy. This week is a lot less known city. It is in Europe, and it is a capital. And it starts with an A. And the country's main language is Dutch, and that's all I'm saying. I hope you can get it. That's a pretty difficult one, actually. Okay, um... I think that's it. That can't be it. Oh! If you guys have not gone on to MTV.com and voted for Tom Felton as the best villain as Draco Malfoy in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince on the MTV Movie Awards, go do it. Because Tom really, really wants this. Um, he has the best fans, and he's a really nice guy. We all want this for him, but we can't do it alone. So, his fans, Felpies, I mean. 
So we want you guys to go vote for Tom Felton. Please go on to MTV and do that. And if you want, you can... Um, Daniel Radcliffe is in Global Superstore and Best Male Performance as Harry Potter. And Emma Watson as Hermione is in Best Female Performance. And Harry Potter and Half-Blood Prince was voted, was nominated for Best Movie. So if you really like Harry Potter, you can go vote for those as well. But mainly, go to... Vote for Tom Felton. Please. He really needs this. And the rest of us can't vote more than once. Sorry. And if you want to see it, it airs at, I'm pretty sure, 10 or 11, 10 or, 9, 10 or 11 o'clock on June 6, 2010 on MTV. So we'll all be watching, see who wins. Um, what else? Summer. Oh yeah, if you haven't gone on adultbeats.com, do that. They love their cool people. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's kind of lame. And also, I'll leave a link for ownculture.com and feltbeats.com. There's a link at feltbeats.com for you to go vote for Tom Felton as best villain. Okay, um, what else? I just had it. Oh yeah, summer vacation. As of now, I have 12 more days of summer vacation. That is not counting June 4th, which is the day we go to Silverwood. I will film that for you guys. Um, when do you guys get off school? My last day is, 10, my last day is June 10th, and only going to 11.30. And on June 7th, I start a college class. Awesome. And summer. I got a promotion. It was really funny. My boss asked me into his office for, like, a meeting and stuff, but before we were going to go in, he scared us. Like, ooga booga booga kind of thing, and we freaked out. After that, he gave us promotion. My boss, Andy's awesome. Andy, if you're watching this, you rock. So, yeah, I have two summer jobs. I am a supervisor and a lifeguard. So, I'm going to be making lots of muda. And I'm going to use all of that moolah for when I go to Orlando in November. I'm going to be going to Walt Disney World and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Universal Studios and SeaWorld and lots of places. So I'm going to have lots of money for that. And I will film all of that for you guys. Every single bit. A lot more than I did at Disneyland. So I can't wait for that and I can't wait for summer. But I won't film anything from this summer. Well, maybe I'll film some stuff, but I won't film, like, my, my, my job and stuff, because I don't want you guys to know too much about my life. Creepers. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Stuff. Can't wait for summer. Today is really crappy. It's, like, 40 degrees and cloudy. I don't know why. I hope the weather gets better. Goodbye.